Tonight, four people in a Sandusky company must now pay nearly $25,000 to a Sandusky charity. This all comes after an investigation by the Ohio Department of Natural Resources. News 5 anchor Tracy Carlos went to the charity that ODNR says was supposed to get more fish to help others. How are you doing? How are you doing today? Good. Alex Trussell depends on Sandusky's Victory Kitchen. They help you in every type of way, spiritually, food, clothing, whatever you need. They, they're, they're open and they're willing to help. How you doing today? I'm doing fine. How about you? He's not alone. Every day, the kitchen cooks up meals for nearly All right. 400 people. There it is. Thank you. Yep. A line often stretches down the sidewalk at breakfast and lunchtime. The need is very much here, yeah. Yeah, we're seeing the middle class families come in, uh, the people that's working two or three jobs, but they still can't seem to make ends meet. Many of the walleye tournaments that happen here on Lake Erie then donate the fish that's caught to local charities. The charity in the business of helping others was supposed to get some help itself with donated fish. Thank you very much. Yep, have a good day. You guys. Thank you. But the Ohio Department of Natural Resources says that never happened. A 2021 ODNR investigation just wrapped up, and ODNR says the Lake Fish Company of Sandusky stole nearly 120 fish that was to be donated to Victory Kitchen. We all make mistakes, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure that. Uh, they have remorse, and, and I'm sure that they hate that they've done what they've done. And yep, you too. I'm just going to walk in forgiveness. God told me when I walk in forgiveness, my reward is great in heaven, and that's all. I have no hard feelings. Uh, do you need silverware? With just $400, Luke Walter's dad opened the doors to the soup kitchen in 1991. When we first started in the 90s, 25, 30 people a day. Now we're serving 400. The then 15 year old would help his dad feed the hungry. He knew that there was something that the community needed because of the poor. How about some lunch? Yeah. When his dad died, it became his labor of love. Do you need silverware? Yes. And he told and me as the need drink. grew, so did the charity. We just don't serve meals. But we're also giving away free showers and free clothing. <laughs> giving from the heart to a community that he loves. We might have lost out on some fish, but we ain't, we ain't going to worry. We're not going to stress. We don't have no anxiety about it because this community just brings it right back in. There you are. In Sandusky. Uh, do you need something to drink? See you. Tracy Carlos. Yep, be good. News 5. A commercial fish processor is paid to clean donated fish and return the ready-to-cook fillets to the charity. The investigation into Lake Fish Company started after ODNR says they got a report the donated fish were stolen by the company and its employees.